Happy Three String Thursday. I'm Mike Snowden. I'm down here in my shop in Marietta, Georgia. SnowdenGuitars.com is where you can find me online. I hope everybody's having a great week out there. There is nothing better than a cigar box guitar when you hear it played with a slide. Whether you're playing it or you're listening to somebody, man, I love the sound of a slide on a cigar box guitar. So today I want to give you guys five tips on how to be a better slide player on your cigar box guitar. I'm hoping these will help you out and just get you sounding sounding better on your on your cigar box guitar when you play with the slide. So let's jump into it with the first one. The first thing I have is positioning. How are you positioning your arm and your hand on your, with your slide when you're playing cigar box guitar? I put my slide on my ring finger. That's just how I like. There's, by the way, these are just tips. You do whatever you want. These are just some tips I'm going to give you guys to help out. <laughs> you don't have to do them to show you how I do it. And maybe you could nick some stuff off of me. So, yeah. So, I use I use my ring finger. That's just what I like. But one thing you want to do when you're playing on slide is you want to keep your slide perpendicular to the frets. Or perpendicular to the fret board. And the easiest way to do it is take your elbow and just tuck it into your rib cage like this. And when you do that, bam. Your slide is perfect where you want it to be. If your elbow's out here, the slide just kind of turns and is not in the position that I would want it to be. I like it to be like this. And the easiest way to do it, just bring your elbow in to your rib cage there. And look at that. So there you go, that's my first tip. Just bring your elbow into your rib cage it gives you a perfect position where you need to be to play slide. Number two is muting. When you're playing with a slide, you it's, it's kind of weird at first. You know, you're gonna you're gonna get some weird you're gonna get some weird chattery sounds like that. So what you want to do is you want to take a finger or two fingers. I use my I use two fingers behind the slide, and I just rest them on the strings and let them. Just let them rest along the strings. So. You're still gonna get a little bit of rattle, but not much, depending on how hard you just hit the strings. But it'll make your it'll make your slide playing. It'll make it sound so good, especially on single note stuff. <laughs> to me, that really helps. Just letting your fingers rest behind your slide. Sometimes you want a chattery sound. If you're just going for it, you may want a, some kind of chatter when you're playing something really loud. But for the most part, I keep I do keep it I keep it muted. So that's another tip just to give you a nice clean tone. Mute the strings behind your slide. The next is vibrato. All right, check out, check this out. I'm gonna do a little run. Nice, sounds nice and clean. Nothing wrong with that. But my slide is just staying super still as I go up. If you add a little vibrato, and all that is is just wiggling your slide around a little bit on each note. It adds a lot more character to it. Vibrato is so cool. Like everybody does a little bit different. Sometimes I don't I don't use it on fast runs, on slow things. I definitely It's just it just gives it makes your slide sound almost like a human voice. It just gives it gives it character. And the cool thing is everybody's going to do it a little bit different. Some of your favorite guitar players out there, musicians out there, use vibrato in different ways, and until you're aware of it, you don't realize, and it's such a cool thing. So add a little vibrato in your slide playing, and man, it'll just it'll make it it'll just make it give it your own tone. So that's another good one is is vibrato. <laughs> The next one is in between notes. Let's say you're gonna play you're gonna play like a little bluesy bluesy riff. It sounds cool. Sounds alright, but if you play it with a slide. 
You're sliding up to the notes. There's in between notes in there. There's. So those in between notes sound so cool, especially on, on slower, quiet things. So don't be in a hurry. Let those in between notes kind of come out. They just sound really interesting. They're really cool sounding. So the last tip I would give you guys is mix everything up. Your vibrato, you got your slide sounding good. You got all the in between notes. Use your fingers in there too, you know? <laughs> Play stuff down low, play stuff up high, play stuff on your low strings, on your high strings, give it the vibrato, put it all together, and man, just keep at it. It just, just sounds so cool. So I'm hoping those tips will help you guys out, playing slide with your cigar box guitar. You, if you want to hear me play slide, go to go to iTunes or Spotify, just punch in Mike Snowden. I got like five, I forget, I don't know if it's five or six records out, and I play a whole lot of slides. So yeah, check me out there if you want to hear some of the stuff I do, but all right, I hope these five tips help you guys out. Positioning, muting, vibrato, the in-between notes, and mix it all up. So there you go. There's five tips for me today on Three String Thursday. We'll see you guys next week. Bye.